Hey everybody, Dog8798 here. This is my favorite animes list, and the very first anime I'm going to start off with is Saint Seiya, aka Knights of the Zodiac. I got into Saint Seiya Knights of the Zodiac in 2003 when it was brought here for Cartoon Network's new Saturday Night Action Entertainment Cartoon Network block, and I've been a huge fan ever since, and I was pissed when... Cartoon Network canceled this show because, in my opinion, this show should have been the um future, and it should have premiered on Cartoon Network's flagship channel, Toonami. Flagship channel, Toonami, because shows like DBZ and Yu Hakusho Show are awesome. They were nearing the end. It was time for the future, a new show. In my opinion, this show was it. Love Saint Seiya. This show is action, adventure, and complex story and characters next show naruto been a huge fan of naruto since 2005 and one of the shows in my opinion to get me reinterested in um get me reinterested in anime and i appreciate naruto for pretty much carrying cartoon network pretty much making cartoon network good for three pretty much three three more years from 2005 to till um 2008 always been a huge fan of Naruto for his large and colorful cast of characters. It has action, adventure, and as you can see now, deeply um complex complex story and relatable characters. Naruto is just an awesome, entertaining show that's fun in my opinion for everyone. Next show, Fist of the North Star. Fist of the North Star is one of my all time favorite shows. I've been a huge fan of it since um the 90s i first discovered it with a video game then i saw the anime for the first time in 2002 and um been a huge fan been a huge fan of it um ever since i love fist of the north star fist of the north star takes two of my favorite things and combines them together martial art bruce lee martial arts movies and um the mel gibson mad mad max series mad max series and, and mashes both of them together to create this awesome show and this show right here Fist of the North Star is one of the granddaddies of the shonen shonen manga and anime genre is one of the grandfathers of this genre and in my opinion it sucks that this show has never really in my opinion got a real good run in here in the United States it was shown briefly it the movie was released in 1990 1991 by Streamline Pictures and the anime aired from Briefly, in 1999 on the Sci-Fi Channel, but they didn't finish the entire show. In my opinion, this show deserves a long run on Cartoon Network or Adult Swim. Next show, Bleach. Been a huge fan of Bleach since 2006. I love Bleach. They combine action, martial arts, swords, swords, swords with um with um horror shinigami's ghost grim reapers and all that stuff love bleach bleach is one of the best animes ever it has humor action adventure a lo just like naruto a large and colorful cast of characters and the show is entertaining the show is entertaining and the only thing i hate about bleach the only thing i hate about bleach is the fillers but in my opinion this is an awesome anime in my opinion one of the best animes ever despite its flaws Next show, Ronin Warriors, another underrated anime in my opinion. This show, of course, is a Saint Seiya clone. It's a Saint Seiya clone, except Saint Seiya is more Greek mythology, and this show is more, more Asian samurai myth. Samurai myth. Um, huge fan of Ronin Warriors since I first saw it in 1998. This show has a large and colorful cast. This show has a small but colorful cast of characters. Colorful cast of characters and um really my opinion really good and a really good story. And a really good story and in my opinion is criminally underrated. I think this show deserves another run here in the United States. Shows like Sailor Moon even shows like Sailor Moon, which has short runs, had a longer run this show. This show was only pretty much on for like a year. But um, I think they deserve a um, longer run. And the next show is Sailor Moon. I love Sailor Moon. Been a huge fan of Sailor Moon since I saw it in 1998. 
it my opinion it doesn't really get the credit it really deserves it was one of the very first shows to really popularize anime here in america even before dragon ball z it was here in um it was here in january of 1998 and it my opinion it sucks that this show has been off tv for so long the show's been off tv f since 2000 in my opinion sailor moon deserved another run and I can't wait to the new show, and I hope the new show is as good as this show. Love this show. The show is the show has comedy, adventure, some good action later on in the show, and um relatable, relatable complex characters. The only problem, only problem or flaw I would have with Sailor Moon, if you want to call it one, is that their dub, the dig dub, is not really that good. Um, next show is um. The next show is Kiniku Man. Kiniku Man. This is one of my all-time favorite animes. I love this show so much that I watch it despite the fact I can't find a good sub version. Or I can't find a good sub version and it's never been dubbed in English. I pretty much watch this. I pretty much watch the Spanish dub of this show. And this show is entertaining. That's how much I love the show despite the fact it's not in English. It's still a must-watch show. It's still a much much watched show. I love um Kaniku Man combines my favorite things. Martial arts, martial arts, superhero, superhero um martial arts, superhero shonen elements, and um another thing I enjoy professional wrestling together. And you get this show. This show is very humorous, really good, complex, in depth story, and lots of um relatable characters and lots of odd scary cool looking professional wrestlers it's just an awesome um show it's better than it's better it's way better than real professional wrestling um next show is its sequel ultimate muscle i love this show continuing where kaniku man left off just like its predecessor just like his predecessor kaniku man ultimate muscle or kaniku man you say is an awesome show um good story good follow-up story most sequels and stuff usually aren't that good but this one is good follow-up story um um a, um a large cast of colorful cool scary looking wrestlers and just just an overall entertaining show and this was the show that got me into the ultimate muscle kaniku man franchise been a huge fan of it since uh 2003 which is when i saw um ultimate muscle for the first time um in my opinion it sucks that this show never did, did got got canceled in japan and they only made the rest they only made another season because the america because it was so popular here in america but i i felt this show deserved a um longer run um here in a um i felt this show deserved a longer run here in america um the next show on this list is, um, in my opinion, even though it's outclassed by several, by even though it's outclassed by several um, animes on this list, the next show I could talk about is Dragon Ball Z. Now, while Dragon Ball Z does piss me off at times, it is technically the first action shonen anime I've um, I've ever watched. And while I do have problems with the writing in the show, the show is very entertaining. It has it has a large and colorful cast of characters. They're relatable, but they're not likable in my opinion. But they are relatable. It has a large cast of characters. Awesome fights. Awesome fights. And action adventure. It's just overall an entertaining um, show. Well, this was part one of my video. I'm going to do part two in a minute right now. All right. Doug8798 out.